on, you run it inside your laptop. Or you can just open that video which I have recorded and then learn it using your own computer. You don't need to be necessarily online. So that's the difference between this number one and number two. In computer-based learning, it's still it's still away from the classroom, but you are to learn something using your own computer, whatever computer type of computer you're using, whether it's your tab or it's your laptop or it's your personal computer at home, then that's also one of the kind of e-learning. What, what makes it different with web-based learning? In web-based learning, you have to have internet because it's web-based. It's mostly an online learning, like what we are doing right now. Can you be able to learn without logging in in a network or in an internet? So this is one kind of web-based learning, the one which you are doing right now. You are, uh, you are attending our classes through the MS Teams platform. And what are you using? You are using web-based learning. Now, later on, let's say, I want to give you some videos and you want to learn it on your own without me here talking or without you listening to me, then that's also called e-learning. But what type is that? That type is called as computer-based learning. Okay, let's move on to visual classroom and digital collaboration. On the third type of e-learning, uh, by the way, any question with web-based and computer-based? Any question? Jever. Hello, Jever. I think it's my first time to see you. Salam alaikum, Jever. Hi. Jever? Jever Hamoud? Hello, hello, teacher. Hi, yes, yes. Jever Hamoud. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Can you hear me? Did you understand what I have just given a while ago? Yes, yes. Okay. So, is computer-based learning similar to web-based learning? Are they same thing? Are they the same? Jiver, Jiver. Hello, Yes, teacher. Are they the same? Yes. No, they are not. I don't what? know. How about this? This one. Can you see it? I'm explaining about web-based learning and computer-based learning now i'm asking you are these two types of of e-learning same not the same no 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 computer-based not necessarily with internet web-based do you need yes. internet to connect to web-based learning do you need internet no yes <laughs> You, ne you need internet to connect to web-based learning. Okay, class, you have to listen properly to teacher, okay? I'm sorry. Is, is it okay? I am calling your name and asking you a few questions so that I don't want you to feel sleepy. Is that okay, Al Hussein? Is that okay? Al Hussein? Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm calling you, huh? So later on, I will call you also. So you have to listen to teacher. So that when I call you, you know what answer you should give. All right? Let's move on. Okay, I think the first two applications for e-learning is very clear to everyone. Let's now move on to the third one. The third one is called as the virtual classroom. What do we mean by virtual classroom? Look at the picture here. They are physically or they are actually in some point, they are meeting online, but they are physically in a classroom. So if, if there is a private online meeting, which is real time, then that's called as virtual classroom. In fact, we are using now a virtual classroom. Are we not? Is MS Team can be considered as a virtual classroom? What do you say? Al Hussein, are we using or applying now virtual classroom? No. 
Not yet? You are online, correct? Yes. Yes, you. we are having a meeting online, correct? Yes. Right. Yes. And yes, correct. Yes, you are having a learning activity. What type of learning activity we're doing now? Although we are just having discussion, it's also a means for you to study or to learn. So we are, in fact, applying now a virtual classroom. The virtual classroom which we are using or applying right now is via the platform of the Microsoft Teams. But we are having an online meeting and the type of learning activity we are conducting right now is discussion of this first outcome. Discussion of the theory re related to e-learning. So virtual classroom typically includes some or all of the following elements. So you can have the virtual classroom server. As for us, we can make use of the Moodle or, as I said, MS Teams. And MS Teams is actually from our college website. So we can, in fact, consider that to be our virtual classroom server. And you have teacher. Let me know if uh, somebody have remembered my name. What is your teacher's name? Who is your teacher now? Who's talking now here in front of the monitor? Can you remember? Ms. Ruby. Thank you. Okay, at least you are not sleeping. I'm calling you only to verify you're not sleeping. It's actually funny. I'm talking in front of the uh, monitor right now. It would have been you and me in a classroom, but since the situation is not permitting us, so let's just settle to this. I still hope that even though you are learning on online and you are in our virtual classroom, I still would like you to enjoy every online meeting which we will have in our class, okay? And then, of course, another element are the students. So if there are no students, there, there will be no learning at all because the only thing which we, pre, uh, we would like to have is that we are teaching and we will make our students learn. And that's through one of the kind or application of e-learning and that virtual classroom. So there are also text chats. You can also, I can also share a whiteboard. I can give you a presentation, which I have right now. Maybe there will be some video tutorials, which you can only hear with the audio, survey tools, breakout rooms, web tours, and other things may be included inside a virtual classroom. Okay, any question about virtual classroom? No. No, okay, let's move on to the last one. Yes. To the last, yes, yes, yes dear, yes dear. Uh, right, right, uh, right in the network or no? Uh, what's that again, again? Right, right the, in the in the book. Right in the. I don't understand, dear. What do you mean? This, uh, this right in the notebook or oh, no? No, 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 no need, no need, Abdul Rahman. I will give you the PowerPoint. You, you still didn't see. In our teams, uh, let me just go to our teams. Huh? I hope you will not uh, go away. See, uh, I will show you in files here. You see okay, this? Okay, okay, thank okay. you. Can you see it? Can you see it? You see this, no? I have here my post. You see that? I am always sending message. So this was the course induction. And then I'm saying good afternoon to all. We will start. And this is now our meeting. And then... If you want me to share any file like this one, I can give this file. Right now itself, if you want, do you want me to give? Do you want me to give this file now? I can give this file now if you want. Yes, it would be better teacher now. Yes, okay, yes. okay, hold on. I will give this picture. Let me just... Mm -hmm. I will just put a better title. Sorry. Um. Hold on, uh. sorry. You are advanced IT 
here. Okay. You are section number 10. All right. This is in fact lesson one. I'll just make it better, okay? Is that okay? You are still there? Okay, okay, teacher. <laughs> okay, let me save it. File, save us. Or oh, let me have it in the desktop. Okay, I'll give it as PDF, okay? Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm going to give it to you. Okay, so this is now in PDF. If there are something else which needs to be revised, like this one, I actually would like to revise it. But anyway, you just refer to this one initially, 26 pages. This is going to cover your quiz number one, that's online quiz. Okay, let me now keep it in our MS Teams. I will upload the file now for you to open if you wish to. If you have laptop and you are connected in the mobile phone, that's uh, better. That is better, okay? If you have laptop, open this in your laptop. And then you connect so that you can hear me discussing using your mobile phone. Okay, is it there now? Can you check? So post and then go to file. You have there the file. Okay, this one. Or I can also keep it in Moodle. We will also put it in Moodle. You can always go to Moodle also. We will upload this in Moodle. Okay, clear? Can we yes, go back okay. now? All right. Clear this. Okay, very good. I hope you can download that. You can download that now and so that you can be able to uh, cope up with our discussion. So this was our previous discussion we had already. Okay, let me just review. We are discussing the four types or applications of e-learning. We have completed web-based and computer-based learning. You have already the virtual classroom, which we are doing right now. And the last one, let's try to discuss about digital collaboration. Collaboration means together. So a digital collaboration is actually uh, contributing a different types of knowledge, whether it's open source or it's uh, digital based or within a community, it's called digital collaboration. For example, uh, a while ago, one lecturer from um, what's that Middle East College, one lecturer from Middle East College have given a presentation. Okay, so uh, that presentation was in fact given to us and we are of different organization, regardless of whoever would like to share that uh, live content, which the lecturer have taught us or shared to us it's like a seminar then it's okay we can share our knowledge to everyone or to anyone which can be part of that collaboration so if all colleges of technology let's say would like to con contribute something regarding this course so one lecturer let's say from sheena's college will give the chapter one and then the next lecturer from, let's say, Nizwa College of Technology will give a presentation regarding Microsoft Excel and so on. So regardless of which group you are coming from, you would like to share your knowledge. You would like to contribute something to one organization or one group. Then you have digital collaboration. It's a collaboration digitally, so it means that it can be an open source or, or open source or cloud technology. It can be shared, let's say, in Google Drive. Or right now itself, we can already share so many uh, information uh, using cloud technology. Or even in MS Teams, we are sharing something. I'd like to show you something, or I'd like to show you the uh, from a different 
uh, college, let's say this one, see, I am a guest. I am, can you see my monitor? Can you see my monitor? Yes, no? So yes, on no. the right hand corner, on my right hand corner, I am showing you here which membership I belong. So it's just a simple example. There are many other examples. What I want to show you here is that I'm... I can't see this. Okay, you have to see it because it's a sharing. Here, here, on the right side. It's, it's very small. Maybe you're just not noticing. Here, this one. Anyone can see it? All of you cannot see? Here, in the middle. I'll show you in the middle. Here, here, this one. You see that? ICT.edu.om. I have here... Higher College of Technology. I am a guest there in Muscat. So because we are having digital collaboration, because we are coordinating many courses and we are sharing our knowledge for us to have a good instruction or a good course material for the courses which we are teaching here in the university. Okay, here in Ibra. All right. So digital collaboration is also one of the e-learning which is available for you to, uh, to try. So let's skip this. Oh my goodness, where I am. So we have completed already the four types. I think uh, we had already discussed virtual, web-based, computer-based, and digital collaboration. So what is this? What are these four? These are the four types or four applications of e-learning. So we have also discussed them one by one. So there's also another definition of e-learning here. So e-learning is a structure, is structured uh, purposeful of electronic system in support of the learning process. From the term itself, electronic learning, which means that it has to support the learning process of every student or every, anyone who would like to learn. It allows to learn anywhere, anytime, provided that you have the, the good connection of the internet or your computer is properly set or properly configured. You can also have e-learning through a CD-ROM or you can access file server. Maybe they will give you uh, an access to some Google Drive, whether it's intranet or internet based it can also be considered as e-learning and the last one the one which i have already told you a while ago the first name for e-learning is actually not e-learning they have called it first as internet based and then they have called it as web based and now they are calling it as e-learning so again First, they have called it as internet-based learning, and then they have settled for web-based learning, and now it's generally called as e-learning. So these are the other definitions of e-learning. Okay? Let's move on. What are the advantages or what makes it good to study online? Or how do you, how, how do you compare... Com uh, studying online or studying using the use of e-learning to non-e-learning. The first one is convenience. What is the other term for convenience? Easier, no? It's like you can learn on your own pace. You want to learn fast, you can learn fast. You want to learn slow, let's say you want to study only chapter one today and then next time maybe I have uploaded chapter two also, you will say, okay, later I will study it. Or you want to study everything you know, like it's in your own convenience, it's in your own pace. So you are not restricted. You, there's no restriction. And like in traditional learning, if you are here in the classroom, no? If, if the teacher says you have to submit this now, you have to study this now, that's more restricted. There are more restrictions when it is the conventional way or the normal or traditional way of learning. For, for e-learning, it is more convenient in a sense that 
you can study at any time or anywhere on your own place as long as you want. If you don't want, don't study, okay? It's, it's as per your own likings. If you want to study in your bedroom, you study in your bedroom. If you want to go to the mountains or if you want to go to mall and study there in Starbucks coffee shop, it's up to you. So you can study in your own convenient time and in your own convenient place. So it's your choice. There's no time restriction also. Next is accessibility. What do we mean by accessibility? So right now, everything is online. I actually don't know. I'm not sure if you are all in Oman. Anyone from here? Anyone from here who's not here in Oman? Anyone who's connected right now? Who's not in Oman? Anyone? Anyone who's now there in maybe in UAE or maybe you are in Paris? Yunis? Hello, Yunis Hamid. Yes, miss. Yunis Hamid, where are you right now? Sinau. In Sinau. Okay. Ryan. Yes. Ryan Saif. So Yunis is in Sinau. Ryan, where are you right now? Ryan, salam alaikum, Ryan Saif. Ryan? Okay, Salim yes, Saif. Okay, Ryan. Yes, Ryan. Ryan, where are you right now, Ryan? Di mawatain. Si? What's that? Uh, Wadi Tayin, no? You are in Tayin? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's have Salim Saif. Salim Saif, Saif is unmuting. Salim Saif, where are you right now? Salim? Yes, teacher. Where are you right now? I'm Where's your bait? You are at home. Yes, you are at home right now. So meaning, you can learn anywhere in the world, okay? If you want to go next week, to Dubai and uh, log in in your online classes, mamushkila. As long as you attend your online classes, it's fine to us, okay? As long as you can learn from anywhere in the world, that's one of the advantage of using e-learning. So again, you have the convenience and accessibility. You can have it from your home or you can have it while you are driving, you are in the airplane or anywhere. You can study in your own convenient place. So convenience and accessibility. What about this advantage? Of course, if there are positive things, these are good things, no? These are positive things. But there are also negative things. So if there are advantages, there are also disadvantages. So it's not always good. It says here, it requires self-discipline. Do you know what discipline means? Can anyone tell me what is the meaning of discipline in Arabic? Goland, what is discipline in Arabic? I don't know, Ms. You don't know? Anyone who knows? What's the meaning? Mbabat. Huh? Mbabat. Okay, whatever that is. It means that <laughs> a student should have a very good time management. What do you mean by time management? Maybe you are thinking, oh, teacher says on my own pace. Okay, kaliwali uh, baden, I will study for my quiz. And then? That teacher is not seeing you. Okay, no problem. I'm going to study next day. So there's advantage on that because if there's Muffy police, if Muffy police, you are not going to study sometimes. So you are going to try to delay or procrastinate. This is this means you delay. You are going to cram. You will say, I will study tomorrow. And then the other day you will say again, okay, next day. 
and then tomorrow again. So it requires a very good self-discipline. A student should have self-discipline, meaning you have to give it good time. You have to have good time management. If your schedule before your quiz, so say your quiz is next week, this weekend you are available and you don't have anything to do, you'll have to study. Well, even if it's not online, self-discipline is always needed for students. I think this is very important. Whether it's online or on campus, as a student, you should not always delay your uh, learning. You should make it as your priority. What are you right now? Right now, you are students. So what do you do? Students should study, correct? No playing yet. So you have already a vacation, which is very long. Now it's time for you to study. So you be a student right now. Next. Technology. Yes. 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 Again. Yes. Who's speaking? Yeah, tell me. Yes, tell me. Hello. Yeah, what happened? Hello. Someone is talking, no? Hello. Okay, I think let's leave that. Okay. Miss, miss. Yes, yes. Uh, how is the question method in exam? Ah, okay. For this quiz, it, you may have true or false. Miss. Okay. Miss. Yes, yes, yes there. Yes. Your, your yes, Abdul Rahman. Miss. Yeah. Uh, your for is is not more stop 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 i think the problem is with you because when you are talking also your voice is stopping abdul rahman i think your internet connection yeah, yeah i think it's with your internet internet connection all right um uh, how about for the others? Um, uh, is Maybe. my voice cutting? I'll, uh, can can someone tell me if if my voice is is just okay? Yeah, it's, okay. Like it's, okay. it's okay. No, teacher, it's a, it is clear. It's clear, no? Golan, can you hear me clear? Golan. Yes, miss. Yeah. So I think it's with your. It's with your connection. Uh, who who's that? Who said uh, my voice is being cut? Abdul Rahman, I think no. So when you are connecting to your classes, you make sure you have the best internet. You just try to tell your family not to use the internet much, so that you don't have any competition with the good connection. So I hope others can hear me clear and loudly. Uh, let, let me ask some of the girls. The girls are very silent. Oh, not too much girl. Rahab. Hello, Rahab. Salam alaikum, Rahab. Hello, teacher. Rahab, can you hear me? Clear? Yes. Yes. Loud and clear. It, it's not stopping, no? My voice is not stopping? No, no, not stopping. No, very good. Okay, I think it's uh, with the problem of that student. So apologies for that. Someone is recording our lesson. So Salim, thank you, Salim, for recording it. Sa Salim is recording this. So just in case whoever had missed this and cannot understand much because of your internet connection, uh, this will be kept in our MS Teams group, okay? So this recording, you can always go back to listen to my discussion. Thank you, Salim Saif, for thinking to for uh, remembering that uh, you have recorded this lesson i have forgotten it okay so shall we continue now shall we continue okay so another yes, disadvantage yes, yes okay let's continue where i can't found it uh later i it will be saved later by salim it can be found yes. here it can be found here 
So in our MS Teams, in general, here, in general, hold on, it's taking time. In general, it will be there, okay? It will be saved there, don't worry, okay? I will show you an example, or later I will show you. If, if Salem will stop it, it will be recorded. The rec sorry, the record will go to our uh, group, to our team. So it will be there. Don't worry about that, okay? Okay, so let's go back. Okay. Uh, yeah, there, there was one question a while ago, no? Uh, the one student have asked, teacher, how questions will come in the exam? Okay, I'll give example. Uh, you can have definition, let's say. Which of the following is, is not a definition of e-learning? I can say, it does not allow you to learn anywhere. So let's say I will put that, no? It does not allow you to learn anywhere. You should only go to classroom. So is that correct for e-learning? That's wrong, no? Because it says it's allowing you. It's okay. It allows you. It, uh, it didn't say it does not. So you can always have this kind of question in your quiz. Or I may also say uh, e-learning was first called as fill in the blank. You can have this. The, the answer will be this. Okay. Let's say fill in the blank. E-learning was first called as and then I will keep this blank. What's the answer? The answer is internet-based learning. So it's theory, okay? So you'll just have to uh, learn this and memorize this. And questions may be fill in the blank, multiple choice, uh, choose the best answer, maybe true or false, okay? Or enumerate, you know, list. Let's say I will ask, give examples of e-learning or give some applications of e-learning. So you can give this four, no? E-learning applications are web-based, computer-based, virtual classroom, digital collaboration. Okay, understood? Same way as we ask with other courses, it's all of just theory. So if it's theory, it will be multiple choice, fill in the blank, true or false, and so on. This thing and so on. Nothing, not, there will be no explain because you are going to do it maybe online or maybe in Moodle. You will do it in Moodle, okay? So it will just be easy for you as long as you understand now my lessons or my discussions. And then later, you can always go back to our PowerPoint presentation and study from this PowerPoint presentation. All right. So let's have the second dis disadvantage now. It's regarding your internet connection. So this is one of the major challenge in the past semester. The students actually had a poor internet connection. So if you are doing the e-learning and you really don't have good internet connection, it's really a disadvantage for you. It's not good. So you should always have to have access to your computer and if internet is needed you should always have a good internet connection there are many students and we understand that especially uh, last second semester it was it was um an immediate shift no from studying here in in the college and then you were asked to do it online many students were not prepared in fact some students do not have laptop so it's actually a disadvantage also if you don't have your own computer at home so it's a disadvantage if you don't have computer and you don't have internet what will happen to you so at least now every student have already prepared because it's a government instruction that all the classes or all all the colleges universities and schools will have to do e-learning or online education or online classes okay so i hope everyone have laptop right now any one of you who don't have laptop anyone is there anyone from here who doesn't have laptop because you will need your own laptop for the application 
But then, I have Dr. Teacher. You have laptop. Anyone who uh, don't, have don't have laptop? Have... Teacher. Yeah. I don't uh, have. I, I don't have. And, you uh, don't have laptop. laptop. Is that Salim or Khalid? Who said no laptop? Khalid? Yes, yes, teacher. Khalid, you have to borrow from your from your family. You have to have laptop, darling. You have to ask your father or your sisters or brother to buy you one because okay. you need laptop. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow, 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 I give you <laughs> the confirmation. Okay. Very good. Tomorrow, uh, you, okay, you okay. should. Yeah, you stay home. As long as you can stay home, please, everyone, stay home. I have given you the orientation for COVID, no? <laughs> please stay home. As long as you don't need anything to go out, you stay safe and stay at home. Only if you will buy laptop, maybe you can buy online. Maybe I think there are some online shoppings right now, which is offering a good laptop. I went to Lulu, I went to Carrefour, I went to uh, Extra, I went to all the computer shops in Muscat last Friday, Saturday, last Saturday. Uh, they are all out of stock, okay? Sorry to tell you because maybe you will go to Muscat also. In Muscat, everything now is from 300 rials to nine, 900 rials. There's also 1,000 rial. Laptops are very expensive now, but I need to buy. So I bought also like you, Khalid. But let's move on now to the last disadvantage. <laughs> I hope it's okay. Lack of interaction with teachers. So meaning you cannot be able to see face-to-face -face your teacher. Uh, this is disadvantage especially for practical. For practical courses, like later on, we will have three topics which is going to be practical. If you have some errors in the practical activity, teacher will not be there to help you. Right now, this is still okay. I can explain the same way. Whether I'm seeing you face-to-face -face or you are now online, uh, it's like I'm still have giving you interaction, correct? Because I'm speaking to you and I allow you to speak. I call you one by one. So I have interaction with you. Fine with me. But later on, it's going to be disadvantage if you are already having a practical activity. So you should learn how to be independent. You have to learn on your own or you have to seek help from others. Maybe some of your friends will know your error, something like that. So these are the disadvantage of having e-learning. So it requires self-discipline. This is not actually disadvantage. It's a requirement. And you have to have a, an access to computer with good internet connection. And you will not have a good interaction with your teacher. Okay? So those are the disadvantages. So we have given the advantages of uh, using e-learning mode of learning. And then we have the disadvantages also. There are two advantages given here, and there are three disadvantages. Okay, any question, class? So far? No, no. No, very good. Okay, there are four. Let, let's move on so that we will be fast. I hope I can maximize teaching you this uh, first presentation or this first outcome, there are four levels of e-learning. The first one is knowledge database. You have the online support. You can have asynchronous or synchronous training. Let's discuss them one by one. What do you mean by um, knowledge databases? There are few indexes in which it can be shared for you to be able to download or for you to uh, get some information. For example, what, what kind of um, example I can give? Uh, you have heard my induction, correct? In the course induction, in the course induction, I have discussed there about e-libraries, correct? Do you remember about e-libraries in the college website? Correct? That e-libraries is also called as knowledge database, okay? I think my handwriting is bad using this um, 
this mouse. So we can we can in fact get this knowledge databases like the online library or e-libraries which are available in our college website. I have given that in our course induction. There's Masader. Example, Masader. There's ProQuest. And see this example? It's Cisco. And there are many other databases which can give you several types of knowledge. So look at this figure here shown in here. You can have a knowledge-based type of database and you can provide information there and you can also extract information there. Wikipedia is also one of example and many other things are there online. They are the basic form of e-learning. Whether you are registered or not, you can always have this, the access of of these types of e-learning. You also have the Oracle Academy. You have the IEEE. You have so many free freewares that W3 schools and so on and so forth. The list is unlimited. This is the most basic form of e-learning. You can always go and find them online. You can always improve your skill. You can always learn something from a group of knowledge base, which can be available online. You can also sometimes get certificate, you know? You will get free certificates like in MOOCs. If you have ever heard about MOOCs, there are many free training there. These are databases of knowledge in which you can also get certification, okay? So that's the first form of e-learning or first level of e-learning. You can also have online support similar to knowledge databases if you have specific uh, question or if you want support from something it's uh, many are available online in fact our college is giving us support as i've said also in the induction we have the student support system and not only our college but there are also different types of organization which will have forums and chat rooms or emailing. They will be so happy to help you with some with some queries which you want. You have the Google Us, Yahoo, yeah, Yahoo Us, and so on. There are many online support available right now, similar to knowledge databases. Okay. You have also the asynchronous and synchronous training. What do you mean by uh, synchronous training? It is self-paced learning, okay? It does not necessarily mean that uh, if, if you are to study in e-learning, it, it should be on the same pace as the other. So maybe one student can be faster, one student can be slower. So this is on your own pace. It can be using a network or an internet or a CD-ROM. As I've said, as I've said a while ago, I may give you a video of all the lessons and you can just have it in your USB drive and play it in your computer whenever you want. It can be also through internet or intranet. This video recording later on, no? if it's there in our MS Teams, you can always go back to our MS Teams and just play the play the recordings, and you can again listen to the to the lectures which I am discussing right now. Okay, it may not be live, meaning I may not be there anymore for you to learn something. Okay, this is called as a synchronous training. It is self. It's like self-centered learning. Okay. Your references may be online or offline, but as long as you have your own pace of learning, it's called as asynchronous training. And the last one can be synchronous training. It's the opposite. Here, there's a live teacher. What are we using right now? What type of training you are doing right now? Is it synchronous or asynchronous? What kind of training we are applying right now? Yes, uh, Muhammad. Muhammad Salim. Salam alaikum, Muhammad Salim. Muhammad Salim. 
Muhammad Salim, did yes, you hear Mr. my question? Yes. Did you hear my question? Where? <laughs> my question is, what are we applying right now? Are we using synchronous training or asynchronous training? This is the topic now we are following, this one. So are we using synchronous or asynchronous based on the definition what do you think hmm. do you have live teacher now is teacher live now yes Aywa? asynchronous Mama? yes no we are using now synchronous okay yes. asynchronous is mafi teacher okay no maybe teach teacher may not be live okay that's asynchronous if teacher is talking and live as as what we are doing right now and now you are communicating with me you are logged in and we are there with each other it's called as synchronous training okay so clear class okay what is this topic all about this topic is about the levels of e-learning what are the four levels of e-learning? You can have this online type of support. You can have knowledge databases. You can have online support, okay? Or you can have a synchronous training. This may, a teacher may not be live. And synchronous training where teacher is online or live, similar to what we are doing right now. So those are the four levels of learning. So let's move on. Any question, class? Any question? Okay, let's just continue. Now, in all colleges and universities, even schools now, even uh, preschools now, all are applying a different types of e-learning portal. It's actually an online support or a virtual environment where students can take resources, including the lecture, study notes, and many, many more. So the e-learning portal, which we are using in the college is, I think everybody knows that, what e-learning portal we are using? We are using Moodle. And right now, what do we use? We are also sharing or using MS Teams, correct? So MS Teams is also one of the e-learning now which we are using here in the university so i may call this now university you know because we are now under university of technology so this should be from the university of technology okay so we don't have any more ibra college of technology okay please take note of that we are now called university of technology and applied sciences ibra so in, the, in this university, what do we use? We use Moodle and we use MS Teams. Now let's concentrate on discussing the, uh, the most common type of e-learning portal we are using now here in our university. We are using Moodle. It's an online virtual learning utilized by, by uh, UTAS. Uh, by, by this university, and it can combine traditional and the, con the it has enhanced the traditional type of online learning. It will include content management. You can have also email there. All the course materials are being uploaded there. You are also now submitting assignment, quizzes. There are also chat rooms to communicate to the teacher, although the students are not uh, using this one. But as of now, with the MS Teams, the students now know how to chat to teacher using the MS Teams. I think it's more, uh, it's easier for the student to chat to, to their teacher using MS Teams. But take note that, it's also available in Moodle. So these are some of the functions or uses of Moodle. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. The acronym is, uh, the Moodle is an acronym for Modular Object-Oriented Dynamic Learning Environment. As for you to know, it's an open, open source course management system, which is known as Learning Management System or 
virtual learning environment. So these are just few definitions of Moodle for you to know. This is for your information. So where are these located? In, your, in the college desktop, if you are in the college, you can always find it here. Yeah? Can you see this? So we have here, no? We have here always the shortcut. We have the shortcut for the Moodle. If I'm going to double click this, it will come out. Or you can always go to our college website. If you go to our college website, uh -huh. where are we here? Okay, I'll go to the college website. I'll just show you, just to show you where is our Moodle now. This are this is now our e-learning portal. Okay, and you remember here the cloud. How do you call this? This is your knowledge database this can also be considered as your knowledge database so you have here the proquest master okay and you have also uh you can use this also as your uh digital collaboration okay this this can be one of the form for digital collaboration so if you will click you will click this in the college website even if you are at home you can always go here and click on the college website it's on the left hand corner you can have here your ms teams link that's using my clouds and then access now or if you are to concentrate only on moodle this is where you can get the link of our e-learning portal so this is our moodle link now let's see how is it now okay on the powerpoint presentation it's showing you uh the What's this? The exact link of the of Ibra College of Technology. I don't know if they are going to change this because, as I've said, we are now under the University of Technology. So let's just move on. After you click on the Moodle link, you can have to you will you will have to log in to that to that Moodle using you, your username and password. I think everybody knows now how to use e-learning. See, it's different now. Can I just explain from here, from the current one? A look at that. Can you see that? It didn't ask me, okay? I will just log out, okay? So you see now, it has now a different view, okay? So before, it looks like this. So I think we have to update our presentation. Before, it looks like this. So I think I will just discuss from, uh, not from the presentation. I will just discuss it from here. So this is now our new e-learning portal. So this is now our Moodle. Once you click on the home page, it's just below this or or it's just uh, opposite the name of the university. So this is University of Technology and Applied Sciences. It's with this one. If you click this one, this is our e-learning perspective. This is our e-learning portal. Look at the title here. It's our e-learning portal. If you click that, the login doesn't look like this anymore. Login is not like this anymore. Our login now looks like this. So you will input your username. Shall I just show you? So I will have icc.edu.om. Okay, let me have my password now. There you go. Okay, and then when you click this, you will be logged in. By the way, you can see that the face of our Moodle is also different now. And it's being updated with the other e-learning portal, which we are using. Aside from the Moodle, we are using also MS Teams. Look at this, no? So it's also being promoted here. Let's log in now. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. Let me log in again. Okay. So see, this is now the real login for your Moodle account. So I'm just showing it to you because you might be confused because it wasn't like this before. So don't be surprised. This is now the new e-learning portal. This is now our new Moodle, Moodle login. So let's log in. <laughs> but I, I don't know what happened. Why my password is not being accepted? Uh, 
Miss, uh, I was uh, facing this problem before. Yeah. Okay. Uh, click in the uh, Office 30, uh, 360, I guess. Mm -hmm. Agree. Uh, 306. Yeah. yeah, I'm here in uh, 306. Uh, I don't know why. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Huh? Let me try it once more. Hold on. I hope I'll. I, <laughs> I think it's saying enough teacher again. <laughs> what happened? Why? Again. Miss the green button below. You see it? This one? Yeah. I'll click that. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Not that login. Thank you, dear. How did you know that? You've tried already. Thank you. Thank you. Who is yeah. that? Yeah, who is that talking? Uh -huh. Who's that? Okay, thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> thank you. Also, now you have learned from him. Huh? Don't click on the login, just click on that Office 365, not the plugin button. So, this is now the new phase of our e learning portal. I'd like you to go to your e-learning portal because maybe your teacher have uploaded something on your courses. So you will have the, the normal uh, file menu, like you have home e-learning courses. So if you are from engineering or IT, you just click this. You have quick links also in PIMS, college website, and so on and so forth. You just explore this, okay? If you want it also in Arabic, you can have the Arabic here. You can also customize the page. So this is a new, uh, this is, uh, this I see only now. Okay, so I have three courses. So this is your course, or I can have it in my dash dashboard. I can navigate it here, or I can have it here. So I have here the courses, which is, which I am teaching. So I have the advanced IT skills, which is you. I have you as my section 10, and then I have my, object-oriented programming in Java, and I also have advanced IT, uh, no, sorry, advanced object-oriented programming. So let's try and see from your courses, let's see. So in your courses, you will have so many administrative options here. I don't know if it's going to be the same for students, but for us as administration or as teachers, we can have these different settings here. Because we are the one who's going to administer the course, no? We can we can filter the user, we can have settings of the courses and so on. And I can have the navigation also of all the chapters we are going to study here. So here are the chapters. I can update this if if I wish to. Later on, if I want the editing on, this is for the teachers and keep it off. If I want to put something, I will just turn on the editing and then turn off. For you, what important are when you download, when you try to download as a student, let's say I have uploaded here a file and you download it, you can easily just click that. Mostly, it's clickable and downloadable. And how to submit an assignment using Turnitin. You remember in the uh, video, in the video of the induction, how to upload internet in for you to check plagiarism was also included in the course induction. So this is now your new new what's this? Uh, new window or new website or new e-learning e portal for the University of Technology. This is now the new Moodle. Okay, so let's go back to our presentation. So this is not the one which we have to discuss right now. Let's move on. So this is not it. So I'll just move. Okay, how do you access your course? Okay, I have already explained that. And I think you can easily just follow the, the website of the Moodle. Okay, so we have here the netiquettes. What are the internet etiquettes? Which we can continue next time, I think. Okay, these are too long. 
Okay, you can have forums. Okay, and that is all. Shall we continue? So this you know already in Moodle. Okay, I uh, class uh, discard. Okay, class. Let me just tell you that in your quiz, it's going to be uploaded here. You see here in Moodle. Yeah, we are going to give you online quiz for this course. So it's going to be time limit. There's a time limit. So if it's given only for 10 minutes, you should answer in 10 minutes. If you are given only five minutes, you should answer only with five minutes. Okay. So your quiz will be for this chapter. And there's one more big presentation, which I am going to give. I'm just resting a bit because I've been talking for one hour and 15 minutes now. <laughs> I hope you will excuse me. I think my voice is uh, going husky right now. Can I just continue with this topic next time? May, may I continue with this topic next time? The okay. topic? Yes. Next meeting, we will discuss about internet etiquette. What are the do's and don'ts in using internet? Okay. I'd like you to search about this. Okay, I'd like you to search about what are the do's and don'ts of using internet. Okay, so in one word, you call it as internet etiquette or net tickets. So again, this is going to be your assignment for our discussion next meeting. So... One, two, three. How many more slides so that we can finish this first outcome? So we have 21, one, two, three, four, other, five, five, six. We are having six remaining slides. Okay. So again, this is going to be for your assignment. What are the etiquettes you follow when you are using internet? Okay. Any question? Any question there, student? Khalid, your log off. What happened to Matar? Matar is always not. Khalid, you were there a while ago, no? Matar. Matar was also there last time, but um, he did not log in. Ryan, uh, there's one who says he's not part of this group. Is that you, Ryan? I should remove you, I think. Ryan? Ryan? Uh, are you all from Section 10? Who's not from Section 10? Please raise your hand. All of you from Section 10? I think one, one of you is not from this section. Can you raise your hand? Here, here, raise your hand. Who is not from this section? All of you are from this section? Yes, teacher, section. Because there's one who has sent me a message I should remove. Okay, so there are 17 currently in this meeting. So there are 16 students who have participated. So again, later after three minutes, I'm going to download the attendance list. Okay, are you in your laptop right now? Are you in your laptop right now? Yeah, yes. Yes, okay. Uh, can you log into Moodle? Can you open now college website just for a few minutes? Yes, just trial before we end the class today. Anyway, we are already discussing about Moodle. I just want to make sure that you don't have any problem with your e-learning portal because you will need it for your quiz. So I want to make sure that you all can log in. So I want to verify now who can log in, who cannot log in. Because I will tell the, the, the Moodle operator to include you if there's any problem. Okay. So all of you with laptop right now, I'm giving you like five minutes to please log in. Can you please log in? Go to college website. Go to college website and click this. Do you see my screen? Can you see my screen? 
Yes, from this one, okay? This one. E-learning, okay? On the right-hand right, right -hand corner, a tutorial, and then go to left. You have the e-learning perspective. Okay, let me know. Let me know if you not log in. Okay, finish. Are you there? If you do not have yet laptop like the student, I think Khalid, uh, you log in later on if you have already laptop. Okay, finish. Were you able to log in? I hope everyone can log in. So that if you have problem, you tell me now. Abdul Rahman, you can log in. Yes. yes. One minute, one minute. Uh, okay. Abdul Rahman Hamid. Abdul Rahman Ali, can you log in? No problem? Teacher, yes. Yes. Afifa, don't tell me you have problem later on, huh? Afifa, Mamushkil with e-learning? Moodle, you can log in in Moodle, Afifa? No problem, teacher. No problem, good. Al Hussein, no problem with Moodle? No problem. Al no problem. Yes, Bader. I have problem. Okay, who has problem? Said? Me, yes. Said Amir, okay, I will report that. So Said Amir, hold on. Hold on, I will take your name. So I will just email the coordinator. So uh, what's the problem, Said Amir? Said Amir. Said. When I enter the password, mm -hmm. it's wrong. Miss. Uh, you click on the one which uh, your your classmate have told. Office 360. You see, yeah? I will log off. I will show you. Log out now. The same thing which he has he has told, no? All right, let me see. Here, here, this, this, this. Click this one. Okay? Log in using your account on Office 365. Click this, not this. All right? Okay, try again, Said. Said Amir, try again. Okay, Input we'll your username and then your password and click this green button. Thank you to your classmates. One classmate have taught us how to do yeah. that. And then uh, Al Hussein Badr. Yes. yes, 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 Abdul Rahman. Yes. yes, Abdul Rahman. What I do? What I do? Uh, go to college I, website. Now, now, now open uh, the model. Yeah, just just try model. Yeah, open. Yeah. Model. yeah, just try model this one. After that. I don't just uh, talent side, no problem in yeah. your model. No teacher, I don't have problem in model. You don't have problem. Very good. Yunus, salam alaikum, Yunus. Hi. Alaikum salam. Hello. No How problem with me. No problem with you. Yunus and Yunis. Okay, so I think that concludes our meeting for today. Thank you for cooperating. Thank you for staying. So in a few minutes, I will now have to download this attendance list. Thank you for coming today. What's your assignment again? Let me see if you remember your assignment. What's your assignment? Abdul Rahman. Internet. Yes. Internet etiquette. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Please take care of yourself. And... Drink water a lot and eat something before you sleep. Thank you. I will see you next week. Log off now. You can now leave the meeting. Thank you so much. We will continue. Okay, with thank, you, thank you, teacher. Thank time. you for it, teacher. See you, beautiful. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Shukran. Masalama.